Cutters, the grassy, unpopular opinions. Hey there, Heather Holder. It's Jeff Cutter Diamond. Welcome you to another the grassy, unpopular opinion video. And this time we'll look at Craig being the most underrated scumbag in the series. Degrassi has had a lot of people who have been scumbags at one time or another. From Jay Defense Defense to maybe Sig, scumbags are hard to come by. And men that treat women terribly are terrible scumbags. Not talking about Dean from season two when he raped Paige. We're talking about Craig and his relationships. And why Craig is a scumbag. The, the, biggest underrated scumbag in the Degrassi series. Now, Craig did not appear in season one. He came in season two in a two-parter that basic called When Doves Cry, which basically portrayed child abuse. So basically, Craig takes pictures of a girl named Angie. Of course, we know that Angie is actually the daughter of Joey, and Angie hangs out with Emma. Emma is a good babysitter. But we don't know why Craig is coming around and all that. We see Craig's home life and basically his dad basically blows up over little things and basically Craig gets beaten over it. So basically Craig is being abused and all that. He lost his valuable camera but his dad gives him money to buy a new camera, basically thinking that it was just not right and all that. So Craig finds Angie and actually ends up saying, well, let's go to British Columbia. We can live there and we could be okay and all that. I wonder why British Columbia, but maybe Vancouver, I don't know. But anyway, um, Angie relays the information to Joey, and Joey is upset that Craig would do that. Why would Craig want to do that to... A little girl, a six-year-old, saying, let's go to British Columbia and all that. But there's a reason. Well, Craig gets hurt by his dad again. Then Craig is so messed up when he talks to Sean and all that by the railroad tracks. Craig decides to hold his skateboard and gets ready to hit by a train and all that. Sean thankfully jumps out of the way, gets Craig out of the way. I don't know if he hit Craig or, or got Craig out of the way or Craig just jumped out of the way. But anyway, um, Craig is messed up and all that. Sean sees that. And then Emma basically learns about Craig's injury and basically learns about how messed up Craig is. Emma is interested in Craig, but of course Craig chooses Manny. But anyway, um, he talks to, well, Emma, as Angie's babysitter, talks to Joey about Craig and all that. And Joey's like, what can I do about it? Ask his dad to keep him away from Angie. But basically, Emma tells Joey that his father is the problem. That's why Craig seems to be messed up and all that. And Joey is shocked. Sean also said he was playing chicken with a train. And Angie pipes in about his purple scar and all that. And Joey's like, oh my gosh, Craig is more messed up than I thought. What have I done? So basically what ends up happening is that they try to search for Craig and all that. Emma stays behind with Angie. And then Emma, when she researches through things and finds out about Joey's wife, Julia, and finds out the fact that she had a son named Craig, and basically that she left Albert, who was Craig's dad, because of, Craig, of Albert's abuse, the pieces fell together. And basically Emma tells Joey where... Craig could possibly be, and Craig basically said, and Craig was at the gravestone of his mother, and all that. Joey realizes that Craig is off the rails, and all that, and offers to help. Albert tries to tell Craig that, you know, I just let out steam once in a while. You're hurting me, and all that. But Craig basically doesn't believe him, and Craig wants Albert out of his life. He's going to live with Joey until Albert gets better. However, you know, Craig has eyes for Manny. Emma is crushed, but, you know, Emma bounces back with Sean. And then basically what ends up happening is that, sorry about that. 
what ends up happening is that, you know, Craig and Manny have a thing. They go on a date. They both have different opinions of the date. But, you know, weird things happen and all that. So then again, so then at the end of season two, Craig is and ends up with um, the fact that he needs to pass his science exam. And then he finds out that his tutor, his best tutor, his dad, wants to come see him. So basically, Craig goes over to his dad's to get help on his exams. And then basically what ends up happening is that Albert admits that with Craig leaving, it was a wake-up call. So he checked himself into therapy. He's done anger management. He's done everything. And it looks good. And Craig and Albert might have a reunion of sorts. Craig's hopeful for that. Unfortunately, Albert blows off at something so little he hits Craig. Craig basically thinks that Albert hasn't changed his ways and all that. And basically, you know, I don't want to see you ever again. And he never did because Craig ended up finding out that Albert died in a car crash. So basically, Craig, in a way, is upset. Craig doesn't know how to feel. He has mixed feelings. He's sad that his father's dead, but he's happy because his abuser is dead. It all comes to head at the Luau dance. Craig ends up being named Luau King to Ashes Luau Queen. I guess in a bit of sympathy. I don't know. But anyway, he has delusions about his dad and then basically goes off the rails and destroys stuff at the school. But destroys the posters and all that. But Terry, to her credit, basically told Craig that she knows what Craig's going through. Because Craig, um, because Terry's mom died when she was at a birthday party. So basically, she helps Craig realize these things. Craig goes with Ashley, and everything's fine. Craig and Ashley are a good couple. Ashley's bounced back from her golf look to find a boy named Craig. A boy and all that. So Craig and Ashley were an item, and then basically Craig does something stupid by being attracted to Manny again while being with Ashley. This is similar. Yeah, Joey basically had the same thing in Schools Out, you know, the Degrassi High movie. So, yeah, this is just amazing. How it was, the traits were passed out, even though they're not really blood relatives. So, anyway, yeah. So, Craig ends up losing both of them. And, basically, you know, Craig is upset that Manny doesn't want to see him, even though Manny's pregnant with Craig's kid. Ashley, of course, chews them out in front of the whole school and all that. Craig is upset that Manny's willing to go to an abortion, but Emma stops Craig, saying that, I agree with your views, but I also know that it's Emma's, it's Manny's body, and she has to make the choice. All that. So Emma basically compromises. She's still at the abortion, but she also knows that she can't stop Manny, because Manny will probably have the abortion anyway. Of course, Craig ends up being back with Ashley in season four, and then Craig goes off the rails too much. Ashley's scared for him. Craig goes off the rails and basically nearly kills Joey. And then, of course, you know, he's fine. And then his relationships with, she, he has a relationship with Ellie and Ashley, and basically they end up being rotten for him, mostly because of his drug use and all that. So basically, you got to ask yourself, how could he be a scumbag? Well, here's the thing. You can, you can blame Craig's bipolar problems, but there's stuff that you can't blame by being bipolar on. you take, you got to own up to it. you got to take responsibility. <clears throat> Craig was stupid in trying to steal a car from Joey's car lot to go to a concert. Well, to get tickets for a concert, all that. Because Joey let Craig drive the cars along, around the lot to get them fixed and all that. But, you know. Joey should take some responsibility on that. But, you know, Craig did the stupid thing. Craig was the one who paid the price for his joy ride. Joey is shocked about how Craig is so stupid. And Craig also says, you can't hurt me. I'm I'm not your son. Craig, Craig, Craig. I mean, and Craig being with, having sex with Manny, well, he was still with Ashley. Why would Craig do that, be with two girls at the same time and all that? It's just wrong. I mean, like, you know, especially when you get one of them pregnant, but Manny didn't know. 
but Ashley knew, and Ashley blurted Clary out. Ashley wanted to destroy Craig in the right way possible, and she had every right to blast Craig for his infidelity, especially getting Maine pregnant. He ha he wrote the apology song, and she fell for it. If I were Ashley, I would never have forgiven Craig for that. I mean, Ashley went through a depressing dark period in season three, and that did involve Terry being put in the coma. Basically, she was affected by it. She wanted to transfer schools, but then Spinner and Paige show her a good time. Saying that things are better than you think they are. Yeah, I mean, Craig and Ashley, I mean, like, Ashley didn't really have any hatred of Craig. She got to be in Craig's band, and basically they grew closer. Craig ends up blowing the stack. I know his bipolar problems went, um, came to a head when he thought that Ashley and Craig should spend time together, and he announces that he wants to marry Ashley, but they're too young, and all that. Ashley tries to tell Craig these things, but Craig basically doesn't understand it. Craig, of course, steals Joey's credit card and all that and tries to get along with Ashley. So, yeah, Craig was kind of a scumbag in a sense. Like, he thought that he and Ashley were supposed to be together. And, you know, Craig went off the rails when Ashley announced that she went to, she's going to go to England with her dad. And basically, he's, like, upset. He's supposed to be doing music for the Kevin Smith movie, and then, of course, he doesn't take his medication. He's in the streets. Where the hell is he? He's in the boiler room at Degrassi, but he's okay. At least he comes out of it. And, you know, being with Ashley and Ellie and the relationships and basically being drug-dependent and all that. I mean, Ellie had troubles dealing with her dad's PTSD and all that. The Army will do that to you. But I think that... You know, Craig should have given Ellie a chance, but basically Craig was using Ellie for his own personal gain. Now that's stupid. Why would you do that, Craig? But also being a scumbag also involves treating Joey like scum. Like Joey's willing to have Craig stay with him until his dad, until Craig's dad calms down and all that. And it's like Craig is not really appreciative of what Joey's efforts are and all that. Well, of course, Craig moves in with Joey because his father died. So he had nowhere else to go. So basically, it seemed like Craig really took advantage of Joey and basically didn't show Joey a lot of respect and all that. Like, you know, when Joey demanded Craig pay rent and all that on the stuff and all the when he got his inheritance, like, Joey didn't have to blow off, but Craig said he was willing to help Joey out. Because that's the right thing to do. He said, I'll sell your my guitar and give you the money. And Joey's like, no, no, no. I shouldn't be doing that. I should be the adult in this situation. But I was being a jerk and all that. It seemed like Craig didn't really give Joey a lot of respect and all that. And Joey even said to Craig, you're my son. And I want to help you with your bipolar problems and all that. That's great. Of course, Joey got phased out and basically moved him and Angie to Calgary. On that, Joey, I mean, Craig ends up being in the drug scene and either going to Calgary, I forget what episode, was it the movie? He went to Calgary to be with Joey, or was it to Vancouver for drug treatment? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, Craig basically was a scumbag to Joey. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but Craig was basically not really willing to put the effort in to try to make things work. It seemed like he was all, he always got away with it in a sense. And that, is that right? Well, maybe Craig did get punished at the end. Who knows? Who cares? So anyway, thanks for watching this episode and we'll see you